Well, it was so fun to see so many Browns fans down here. The whole stadium decked out in orange and brown. So much fun. Well, we saw the bust, right? We saw Joe Thomas's Hall of Fame bust, and there's quite the process that goes into creating that. Our own Jim Donovan gives us a behind-the-scenes exclusive look at how they made Joe Thomas's bust. It's late April. In a studio outside Salt Lake City, Utah, sculptor Ben Hammond starts the process of enshrining the newest Cleveland Brown into the Pro Football Hall of Fame by creating a one-of-a-kind bust. Hammond uses about 40 pounds of clay to create a masterpiece. The first step, decide what expression will forever be preserved on Joe Thomas's bust. No, honestly, I kind of like a little bit of a smirk smile. Okay. Yeah, I'm torn. I don't know if I want to be like serious. If we do a little smirk, are you going to put a little dimple on that side, kind of like that picture on the right? For over eight hours, Big Joe sits in a chair while every inch of his face and neck will be scanned and sculpted. As Hammond works on sculpting, he notices a big difference from Joe's playing days to now. How much less do you weigh now than when you were playing? Uh, about 50 pounds. We cover up the double, double chin. Because I think 2010, which or 12, some of these shots are from, I was like 325. I don't want it to be too thin. Yeah, like that's pretty good. Like that? Yeah, I think I like that. I'm going to have you smile now. I'm going to work on this, see if I can get this mouth. So this is going to be kind of a pain because you're going to have to hold it a little bit. But. What seems like just a casual conversation is actually the foundation of starting a friendship for years to come. How did it feel to be on a losing team, but like you're one of the best players in the league at your position? Never thought about it. I was just worried about doing my job. So you didn't know your wife until you were at college? You guys met there? Yep. Yeah, we met in my sophomore year in college. She was on the basketball team. But hey, baby, let me take you out on a date. I'm going to take you out of my canoe. That was my pickup line. And she went for it. But as the conversation flows, the work on the bust is always the priority. I got a little more smile in the eyes. Do you want the eyes that smiley or a little softer like the picture? I think I like that smile in the eyes. Okay. What about you? You're the expert. <laughs> it does, that smirk does look all Doesn't right. Doesn't that look great? I think yeah, that looks, that looks awesome. Fun. I was wondering how it would turn out because like you said, you don't do many. Yeah, especially when the offense alignment always want to, this is almost better like, he can't, yeah, you not can't. by me. JJ Watt, why don't you go on the other go side? Ahead. Give me your best shot. Okay, I'm not worried. <laughs> it's pretty amazing to watch the master at work taking just a block of clay and making right now already something that looks a lot like me. It's uh, It's been really fun and pretty cool seeing, especially like the little facial details coming into play. After eight hours of sitting in a chair, the first step in the process that has been around for centuries is now complete but there are many more steps to go. That includes heading to the foundry, where a cast of the original sculpture is made, then wax is poured into the mold. The wax bust is sprayed and dipped in slurry, converting them into a cast that can withstand over 2200 degree temperatures. The oven melts that wax, creating a hollow shell and is now ready for the pour. Molten bronze is carefully poured, immortalizing Joe Thomas. After cooling, imperfections are scraped away. The bust is colored using layers of stain. And after two months, the process is now complete. Joe Thomas will live forever at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton. I, I hope that the kids love it. I hope that they're like, wow, that was you. And even though we don't remember it because they were pretty little when I was playing, I hope when they're older and they bring their kids back to the Hall of Fame, they can look at that and be like, hey, there's your grandpa. And it'll give them as close to an idea of what it was like watching me play as possible. Oh, great stuff from Jimmy. And you truly get an appreciation about that whole process, what it takes. And today, we truly got an appreciation for what a great guy Joe Thomas is a class act all around from his career on the field to what he's doing every day with his family off the field. A plus job by him and an A plus job by Browns fans showing up today in Canton to show their support. Neil. All right. Thank you, Nick. You and Jimmy have been doing a tremendous job all week down in Canton. So uh, we're going to see you a little later in sports. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Nick.